anxiety keeps you worried over situations that you have little or no control over anxiety robs you of the joy of the present moment because you keep wondering how the future is going to look like anxiety keeps flashing through memories of the past negative circumstances that happen and keeps you in this place of bondage and fear that they are going to happen again or they are happening again and so you are constantly in fear you're constantly in shock you're constantly wondering what is happening what is going to happen what's going on and all of that you're being suspicious nothing makes sense anymore that's why the bible says be anxious for nothing but in everything give thanks to God job said God gives and God has taken all glory to him all praise to him it was God who gave it and it's God who has taken it so whatever be the situation that is bringing this anxiety today make up your mind and say hmm I've been anxious for so long and this anxiety has done me no good it has robbed me of the moments i would have been spending with the people that truly care about me or the people that i care about why am i anxious by the way what happened look at that situation in the face was this a situation that brought for this anxiety is it grief grieving of a loved one is it something you lost is it a job a promotion that you actually lost that has brought for this anxiety is it a relationship that did not work out and because of this you're so anxious time is passing by will I get another person who would want to do life with me and you're just being anxious these have very genuine reasons why you may think your life is not in place at the moment but the Bible says we should cast all our cares upon God because God cares for us God does not want us to be in this place of anxiety God does not want us to be anxious, to be fearful, to be afraid, afraid of the unknown. God has made room for us. God has made provision for us. And that's why today, make up your mind and say, I break free from this cocoon of anxiety. I admit that I have let anxiety win the battle of my life for so long. But this journey of my life is to the glory of God. I want to come into the best version of myself. I want to be who God has made me to be. I am the apple of God's eyes. I am made in the image and the likeness of God. Is God an anxious God? Why would God be anxious? All the time that people spend in anxiety, does it ever yield any dividend, any good fruit? So I am intentionally making up my mind not to be anxious. I know it's hard, I know it's gonna be tough, I know it's gonna be difficult, but I am laying this at the foot of the cross today and saying, Jesus, you said it is finished. So anxiety is finished from my life. And if you're looking for some scriptures to pray regarding anxiety to come out from this place of anxiety, well, here are some scriptures for you. Philippians chapter four, verse six and seven be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto God and the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus first Peter chapter 5 verse 7 casting all your care upon him for he careth for you Matthew chapter 6 verse 34 Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. John chapter 14 verse 27 Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Psalm 55 verse 22 Cast thy burden upon the Lord and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. The Bible says that God will never suffer the righteous to be moved. 
so cast your cares upon him he is the one who gives peace the kind of peace that the world cannot give you if you're going through anxiety pray for the prince of peace to come into your heart and take away the burden and take away the pain take away the trauma take away the grief take away whatever has led you to this place of anxiety anxiety towards your education you're thinking oh because no one has ever graduated in my family i may not be able to graduate with my classmates i may not be able to finish up with my education i may not be able to find a good husband or good wife i may not be able to have financial prosperity open doors and business or a good career path i may not be able to make it in ministry and be a blessing to humanity i may not be able to become the best version of myself you know that place of anxiety where you're just so scared that like nothing good can come out of you it is not the plan of god for you it is the work of the enemy he wants to keep you in this place of constant fear fear of the unknown but the bible says fear not god is with you god says cast all your care upon him for he cares for you god wants to take this burden from you god wants to help you the bible says you should cast these burdens on the lord come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest god wants you to come to him so that he can give you rest as his child he wants to give you rest rest from all the cares that trouble your mind so cast them onto the lord and if you do not know god yet I want to let you know that anxiety is not the will of God for you. God is your creator, he's your helper, he's your maker. He's the one who has watched over you from your mother's womb, from the time you were formed. So God has a plan for you. Instead of living in this state of anxiety, in this state of constant fear, in this state of sorrow, sadness, depression, just make up your mind today and say, you know what, I'm going to be a new person because this is what the word of God has promised me that God will give me peace, that God will take away these anxieties, these cares, you know, he would give me joy and practice gratitude. It's good to give thanks because as you are grateful to God, as you are giving thanks to God, you know, that anxiety, there is no room for it. You know, the cares, yes, you are casting them to God, right? There is no room for it because then you just have that place of gratitude you to God, thanksgiving to God, worship of God, prayers unto the living God. So I encourage you to make up your mind today and say, I'm not going to be a vessel that is full of anxiety. I'm going to be a vessel that is filled with the spirit of God, with the power of God, with the presence of God, with the light of God. And I am going to be content in God because this is the will of God for me. Thank you for opening up your heart to accept the word of God. If you would like to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you would like to surrender all at the foot of the cross, if you would like to accept the Most High God into your heart as your Father and Redeemer, please close your eyes and say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you today. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercies that have found me. I repent of all my sins before you and I return unto you as my God. I renounce every connection to the powers of darkness. Lord, please separate me from sin, sickness and Satan. Help me to walk before you in righteousness and holiness to serve you in truth and in spirit, to abide in your presence through all eternity. Let your will be done in my life, Lord, and let your kingdom come. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Thank you for praying that prayer of faith, friend. Welcome into the family of God. For the Bible says that as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. So from this time forth, as a child of God, keep enjoying the presence and the blessings of God through all eternity. And God bless you.